Olympic. Olympic was built for the IMM's White Star Line and had her maiden voyage on the 14th of June, 1911. On the 20th of September 1911, she was ran by a battle cruiser called the HMS Hawk and had to be repaired. After the wreck of her sister Titanic, Olympic's crew mutinied over Olympic's lifeboats, and she had to have a special sea trial to test her lifeboats, and they did prove themselves, though it didn't matter because White Star refitted Olympic in 1913 with more boats anyways, to follow law. On the 27th of October, 1914, she rescued survivors of the sinking HMS Audacious. In 1915, she was called into service for World War I as a troop ship, and in 1917, was chartered by the Government of Canada for troop service to Halifax, and for this was painted in a special dazzle camouflage. She very narrowly escaped the Halifax explosion as she left Halifax just less than a week before Halifax was annihilated, but I already talked about this. In 1918, she rammed and sank the U-103, while U-103 was about to torpedo Olympic. At the end of the war, she was torpedoed by U-53, but it failed to detonate. At the end of the war, she was returned in 1919, and had a refit in 1920. In 1924, she collided with a smaller liner called the SS Fort, Fort St. George and had to be repaired. In 1932, she had another refit, and in 1934, rammed and sank the Nantucket lightship number LV-117. In 1935, she was deemed not cost-efficient enough and scrapped in Jarrow.